brought to you by Hoco Exteriors. Coming up on Good Morning Chattanooga, the second Republican presidential debate is in the books. We'll take a look at what major issues were discussed and who came out looking strong. Thousands of people came out to Chattanooga's riverfront to honor the five fallen servicemen two months later. We'll have a recap of the events. Those stories plus your Storm Track 9 forecast and our friend Beth Newhoff. She's tracking your road conditions. Good Morning Chattanooga starts right now. Good Morning Chattanooga with Sarah Jennings, Greg Funderburg, Drew Balea, traffic with Beth Newhart, and Storm Track 9 weather with meteorologist Bill Rakes. This is Good Morning Chattanooga. Hello, good morning, rise and shine, however you say it. We're glad you're with us. I'm Sarah Jennings. And I'm Greg Funderburg. It is Thursday, September 17th, 2015, one week away from the premiere of Scandal for the new season. I right thought you were going to say fall. Well, yeah, <laughs> fall is next week, but Scandal is a big story this morning, in my opinion. Yes, lots but of people enjoy that. we got to talk about the weather now. Let's check in now with our friend meteorologist Bill Ray. So, Bill, what can we expect? Beautiful weather uh, this morning. Very pleasant, calm conditions. As far as that weather is concerned, this is our Storm Cam 9 vision from Double Tree Hotel's rooftop downtown. And our Storm Cam 9 network is brought to you by CHI Memorial. See the aquarium in the background there. Let me show you what's happening as far as our weather. And our, we'll start off with headlines. Our, our day planner, rather, 65 degrees. The temperature at 9 a.m., noon, 80 degrees, and 84 at 4. And I wanted to just mention that in those headlines, dry weather still remaining, even through the weekend. We will be having uh, temperatures getting a little warmer, but some showers early next week that we'll talk about. That'll change our weather around a little bit again for early next week. Again, high today, though, of 84. Looks real nice. A little warmer, too. Back to the news right now. And now to your story. This morning, Chattanooga police are investigating an overnight shooting. Now, it happened shortly before 2.30 this morning on South Willow Street. Chattanooga police tell us a man was shot and suffered none life-threatening injuries. He's being treated at the hospital this morning. We're told there is a suspect in custody. You can depend on us to continue to follow the story throughout the morning. This morning, Donald Trump is calling the second GOP primary debate amazing, but it may be too soon to celebrate. Many analysts believe believe Trump fell short in that debate last night. Now they say he was less dominant on stage and his challengers managed to walk away with some memorable moments. ABC's Bazi Kanani is in Washington with the highlights. First of all, Rand Paul shouldn't even be on this stage. He's Round two, two began much like the first feisty debate. His visceral response to attack people on their appearance, short, tall, fat, ugly. My goodness, that happened in junior high. But this time, the candidates were better prepared to take on the dominant frontrunner, Donald Trump, sparring frequently with Jeb Bush. I would have gotten I was opposed to casino gambling before, during, and after. More energy tonight. I like that. A tussle between Trump and Carly Fiorina over alleged business failures when Chris Christie interjects. For the 55-year-old construction worker out of that audience tonight who doesn't have a job, they could care less about your career. They care about theirs. This morning, many analysts are calling the debate a win for the only woman on the stage. Twitter stats show the most tweeted about moments of the night were Carly Fiorina's emotional appeal against abortion and her response to Donald Trump's comments in Rolling Stone when he said, look at that face. Would anyone vote for that? I think women all over this country heard very clearly what Mr. Trump said. Fiorina came into the debate with just 4% in the polls, Trump at 27%. Analysts think Trump's failure to show command of policy in this debate could turn the tables. I think people were expecting more, so I think he actually hurt himself in the course of this debate. Analysts say Jeb Bush did come out with a better performance in this debate. They believe the quiet-spoken Dr. Ben Carson, who entered the debate second in the polls, may not have done enough to stand out. Bazi Kanani, ABC News, Washington. And good morning, America. We'll have a closer look, or take a closer, closer look, rather, at all of the debate coming up later this morning at 7 o'clock. Two months after the attacks in Chattanooga, so many people paused to remember the five fallen servicemen. Thousands came together along the city's riverfront yesterday for the Chattanooga Unite Tribute Concert. Let's go live to Drew Balea, downtown Chattanooga. So Drew, tell us some of the highlights of the event. 
Hey, good morning, guys. Yeah, there were many highlights from yesterday's event, including the parade and memorial service, but the benefit concert was what really brought the big crowds and hundreds of thousands of dollars that were donated to the families of those victims from the Chattanooga shootings back on July 16th. So at the stage behind me, all the big expensive electronic gear is gone, but you can still see the Riverbend stage is there, the American flag, and also some stars as well. But uh, on that stage, what we saw was uh, performances by Brantley Gilbert, performances by Harry Connick Jr., and also some other country music stars. We also heard from one of the uh, one of the wives of one of the fallen service members who spoke to the crowd and had some emotional comments. Go ahead and take, an, take a listen to these comments that we heard from Staff Sergeant David Wyatt's wife. I didn't realize that day how much this affected all of you as well. We lost our security and our peace of mind that day. But instead of it bringing you all down and breaking you, you turned it around. Chattanooga gained a sense of pride and patriotism that I have never experienced before. And so there you heard Staff Sergeant David Wyatt's wife speaking to the crowd there, and she was just one of the many family members of those fallen victims uh, who were here to uh, pay tribute to, to not only their own, but also to thank all the people who came out to support them. There was people walking around with blue buckets where you could make cash donations, and a check presentation of thousands of dollars from many different organizations were made to uh, those families. So all in all, a, a good thing for those families uh, throughout the evening. Now for the big uh, cleanup this morning. I just want to show you what's left over. I just had an opportunity to speak with somebody from the City Public Works Department. That was about two minutes ago, and they tell me that all of this will be cleaned up by about 10 or 11 o'clock this morning. They have a crew of 10 people who will be coming down uh, at about 7 o'clock this morning along with the Friends of the Festival who will be supplying a few others. Uh, if you don't have anything to do today, I'm sure they wouldn't mind getting a little bit of help. But yeah, the City of Chattanooga will be cleaning up. They started cleaning up last night. You can see behind me, it's pretty clear. Uh, but they still have a lot of work to do this morning, so you'll expect to see them working around this area. If you have to drive on Riverfront Parkway because they are opening up the roads, please be cautious. You'll see the men and women in those uh, bright yellow vests. They'll be helping to clean up uh, and get things nice and tidy for the Riverfront after this uh, after this concert took place. For now, I'm Drew Balea, live on the Chattanooga Riverfront. Back to you guys. Drew, thank you for that live report. Time now, 606. Let's turn now to Beth Newhoff. She's tracking your road conditions right now. And as Drew was just saying, you know, clean up and all that stuff happens. Happening. So what can we expect Absolutely. today? Absolutely. Well, the riverfront should open up around 6 a.m. So that's getting ready. Those barrels are being moved out of the way and I, it's probably open now. They were actually picking up barrels when I came to work this morning. <laughs> so that should uh, help folks drive around downtown. Let's go ahead and take a look at the traffic tracker. I do have one indicator in Bradley County. This is on Bancroft Road just north of I-75 as it goes under I-75. What you have is a horse that is wandering the dark road ways and so they are not on scene yet they have not made contact with that horse but they're trying to round him up and get him back where he belongs but again that is a driving hazard if you're headed out in Bradley County now if you're headed out in Marion County you should have a pretty nice drive don't see any problems actually uh, down toward Trenton that's actually moving uh, very well it's actually moving at the posted speed so everything is looking good no big delays as we take it outside to check in on the west side of Chattanooga and this is uh, near where Drew is located right now right going over the river 27 at 4th Street again looking great about 14 minutes if you're coming in from Saudi Daisy Apple's new operating system officially rolls out but not without some complaints from users ABC's Rena Ninen and Kenneth Gibson have this morning's Tech Bites. Traffic Tracker brought to you by Mermaid. Dare to compare our line of Serta Perfect Sleepers. In today's Tech Bites, a bad start for iOS 9. Millions of Apple users got failure messages when they tried to download the new mobile operating system soon after it was released yesterday. No comment from Apple, but eventually most users were able to get the update. Apple, by the way, also stumbled on its watch software. It postponed an update for that operating system, saying it found a bug in the software. The major feature is supposed to be more access to data 
from the watch for developers. Apple not saying what the problem was or how long the delay will be. And start saving your money. Sharp starts selling the first 8K televisions next month. Yeah, the sets are also known as super high vision and have a resolution 16 times that of today's high definition TVs. The price tag, though, $133,000 a piece. A piece? A piece. Pricey TVs. You could buy a house for that. Those are your tech bites. Flonase Allergy Relief Nasal Spray outperforms the number one non-drowsy allergy pill. Most allergy pills only control one inflammatory substance. Flonase controls six, so you are greater than your allergies. Flonase, six is greater than one. This changes everything. In our house, imagination runs wild, but at my table, I keep the food real. It's like Country Crock's new recipe, made with real, simple ingredients, and no artificial flavors or preservatives. Real country fresh taste from real ingredients. Welcome to Crock Country. I did it. Do it. Take the Nature's Bounty Hair, Skin, and Nails Challenge. If your hair, skin, and nails don't look more beautiful, we'll give you your money back. I did it, and I feel beautiful. Visit naturesbounty.com for details. Suffering from allergies and asthma in Chattanooga can make it difficult to enjoy the amazing outdoor activities our city has to offer with all members of your family. The experienced, double board certified allergist at Chattanooga Allergy Clinic can identify the allergy and asthma triggers that cause you trouble and create a personalized, state-of-the-art treatment plan. Early treatment can cure allergies, prevent asthma, and provide the relief you need to breathe easy and enjoy our beautiful city. Chattanooga Allergy Clinic, helping you live life to the fullest. Need new windows? Call Renewal by Anderson. Our exclusive Fibrex windows are twice as strong as vinyl. They combine the strength and durability of wood with the maintenance-free aspect of vinyl. And our professional installation team ensures a perfect fit every time. Right now, you'll get free installation. That's right, free. Or pay no interest for 48 months. Call today for a free in-home consultation. You'll be glad you did. Renewal by Anderson. We love our new windows. What's happened to snacking? How did it become absent-mindedly eating one after the next after the next? So predictable and so unsatisfying. What about pulling up a chair, a stool, a beanbag, and actually tasting our food? We are a creamy cheese that still believes in the beauty of a knife, in the elegant swipe of a swipe. Of course, that doesn't mean you can't dunk us or scoop us up. Enjoy every single solitary bite. The Laughing Cow. Reinvent snacking. The Daily Pollen Count is brought to you by the Chattanooga Allergy Clinic. The, the pollen count 37 yesterday, the air quality in the good range. That's the forecast for today. But it's very, uh, very close to the moderate range because you go from the number 50 to 51, you're in the moderate range. So, you know, a little bit of, a, a little bit of air quality concern, but not much. Yeah. Lots of allergy sufferers. Still. There are. There are a lot of allergy sufferers still. Ragweed is still uh, the predominant the pollutant. And 37 doesn't sound like a big number compared to, you know, when you're in the spring allergies. But that is in the high range for this time of year. Now, let me show you Storm Cam 9. We're in Dalton, Georgia. It is uh, looking pretty nice out there. We have uh, mostly clear skies and no precipitation this morning to interrupt with our morning commute. You know, no, no one's on the road in, in this speck of Dalton this morning. Right. Well, there's one car. I know. Somebody's there. heading to work or school. There's two. <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's getting busier by the second. They know we're watching. Yes, yeah. that's right. Here's a look at uh, our weather now as we go through uh, just telling you exactly what's going to be coming up here as uh, we uh, go ahead and advance this. Okay, here we go. Afternoons in the 80s, still mostly dry out there. Showers next week, early in the week, will become a little more numerous. 61 degrees. Chattanooga, Cleveland, 63, 55, and Dalton, where we were just looking. Cooler there. Rain is still being held off to the southeast of us. That's pretty rainy weather down there with this nearly tropical system down there rotating around in the southeast. But we have clear skies here. 
84 degrees, mostly sunny today, east wind at 5. Tonight it's down to 61, and tomorrow we have a high of 84 again, mostly sunny, and a north wind at 5. So light winds through tomorrow. We won't have to worry about any thunder showers tomorrow night for high school football. Uh, that looks good, and four games on Saturday anywhere within you know, a couple hundred miles of here. I mean, it looks dry and nice. Warm, though, 86 here. And then a slight chance of a shower Sunday, but better chances early next week. Temperatures actually getting closer to more average for this time of year now the next couple of days. And fall begins next Wednesday. So just something to keep in mind there. Looking ahead. Yeah. Thank you, Bill. Mm -hmm. Will she or won't she? Federal, Federal Reserve Chair Janet Yellen is scheduled to announce later today whether or not the Fed will hike interest rates. So what does this mean for you and the U.S. economy? Stacy Cohen is live from Washington with the answers. Good morning, Stacy. Hey, good morning, Sarah. You know, most of us hear interest rate hike, and we mostly think about getting a home loan, right, our mortgage price. But there's a lot more to it than that. So the interest rate has been in the U.S. around zero for years. And now unemployment is down. The economy is growing, albeit a bit slowly. So the Fed has been hinting at a rate hike for many months. And Wall Street has been reacting with wild up and down rides for the past several weeks. No one seems to know what Janet Yellen is planning. Now, some economists believe a rate increase could lead to another recession. The chair of the International Monetary Fund has publicly asked Yellen to hold off, but that is not everyone's opinion. If the Fed does increase the rate, it is likely to be a very small hike, less than a quarter percent. And if there's no increase today, it could lead to further market instability because the Fed is going to increase rates at some times. And so, you know, inaction will just increase this guessing game and all the panic on Wall Street. So Janet Yellen clearly has made up her mind. She will let the rest of us know at a press event later this afternoon. Sarah? And we'll have to wait, Stacey. But aside from increasing what we might pay for a home or car loan, how else could this affect our lives? Oh, okay, so for one example, it could be good for your stock portfolio. Portfolio. You know, it could go up and down, but then eventually back up. You never know. Um, car loans could be impacted by this. But, you know, there, a steep climb, you know, due to low interest rates, uh, you know, holding that down could suppress currency in this country, which is also not great for the economy. So it, it's a good and bad situation, but most people think it's inevitable at some point in the next few months. Good information to note. Thank you, Stacy. And that is Stacey Cohen reporting live from Washington. Still to come on GMC, two local commissioners are offering to give $100,000 back to the county. Coming up, why they say the money belongs to the taxpayers. Storm Track 9 weather brought to you by CHI Memorial. Find a physician who's right for you at chimemorialmedicalgroup.org. Come to the Labor Day sale at Furniture Row and make your hard-earned dollars go further. Now's the time to enhance all your comforts of home and score some big savings on all the designs you love. Plus, get 0% interest until 2021. The Labor Day Sale ends Thursday, September 17th. Everyone knows River Valley Ag Credit has been lending support for generations. But what they don't know is the best kept secret. River Valley Ag Credit operates a true cooperative, meaning they actually give money back to their borrowers. $7.9 million will be designated this year in the form of a patronage to our borrowers. Lending support for generations, River Valley Ag Credits. Look first at the best. The furniture shop and the patio shop have received truckload after truckload of smart new looks and exciting collections. Come see our new showrooms and the finest indoor and outdoor furniture tagged with the lowest prices anywhere, including custom orders. That's guaranteed. Extra bonus check savings in both big Fowler Brothers stores, the furniture shop and the patio shop, truckload savings in stock and custom orders. I-24, 4th Avenue exit. When you work smarter, you go further. Earn a degree from Miller Mott Technical College in some of today's fastest growing fields like healthcare, business, beauty and wellness, or skilled trades. When you work smarter, it can work for you. Miller Mott will help you choose your ideal career, support you from day one, and assist you with job placement now and for years to come. Individual attention, hands-on training, and instructors with real-world experience help to ensure your success. Plus, financial aid and military benefits are available for those who qualify. Wondering how school can fit your busy life? Miller Mott has you covered with multiple start dates, flexible class schedules, 
and even online options. Classes are starting soon, so make the smart move today. Call or click to receive your free information guide. Visit millermont.edu forward slash TV. It's time to work smarter. Work smarter. Go further. Take the first step today. Hi, it's Eddie and Greg here with North Georgia Toyota with area football legend Chris Durham. Only at North Georgia Toyota, get $3,000 off 2015 RAV4s or $6,000 off 2015 Prius. Get up to $4,000 off 2016 Camrys and up to $2,500 off 2016 Corollas. If you're looking for a new car, don't drop the ball. Come visit Eddie and Greg and your winning team at North Georgia Toyota. Come see it. Come to the Labor Day sale at Furniture Row and make your hard-earned dollars go further. Now's the time to enhance all your comforts of home and score some big savings on all the designs you love. Plus, get 0% interest until 2021. The Labor Day sale ends Thursday, September 17th. This is Good Morning Chattanooga. Welcome back. Two Hamilton County commissioners are offering their $100,000 of discretionary funds to be put back into the general fund. Commissioners Joe Graham and Marty Haynes say the money belongs to the taxpayers and not them. The $100,000 discretionary funds for each commissioner were left out of the proposed budget back in July, but were voted back in by commissioners. Several commissioners are calling the move political and a misuse of funds. I just don't believe in my heart of hearts. Uh, and whether it's a political ide ideology um, that, uh, that I can spend this money in good conscience, uh, it's not my money, it belongs to the taxpayers. These actions are not necessary to tell the public we're not going to spend the money. That happens all the time. The motion to return the money passed. The other commissioners will still keep their discretionary funds. Georgia's unemployment rate continues to drop. The state's Department of Labor says the seasonally adjusted unemployment rate last month was 5.9 percent. The rate was 6 percent in July and 7 percent one year ago. Georgia's Labor Commissioner says it's the first time the unemployment rate had dropped below 6 percent since 2008. He credits fewer layoffs and an increase in job creation. Most of the job growth came in trade, transportation and warehousing. You're watching Good Morning Chattanooga. Time now 621 and you're probably wondering what the weather's going to be like for today. Our friend Bill Race is back tracking it for. So Bill, what can we expect? Well, the afternoons, they're going to be now rising into the 80s for highs, low to mid 80s today and tomorrow. Still a mostly dry period of weather in our midst and showers, they become a little more likely by Monday and Tuesday of next week. Partly cloudy and 61 degrees outside, calm conditions. And we will still have very low humidity as we go through the day today. 65 degrees at 9, 80 degrees at noon, and an 84 shows up at 4 o'clock. And we will have light wind, low humidity, plenty of sunshine. So a pretty nice day overall. I mean, very nice, beautiful out there. Very much a fall day. And it uh, looks like that will uh, really continue into the weekend, but temperatures are going to warm up a little. We could even see some areas hit the upper 80s before the weekend is out. Some showers early next week. But for today, you can see here, great shape for the weather. Looks really good. Yeah, this is uh, this will this will keep you calm as far as uh, at least for the day today. At least we're on the downslope to fall. Yes, that's right. And fall begins. And what next Wednesday? at 4.21 a.m., just before we go on the air for Good Morning Chattanooga. I'll be ready. Yeah, we're going to all be ready right then. Coming up, wearing baggy pants may soon cost you. Coming up, what state is trying to ban some call a fashion statement? Well, we'll tell you about a town that's actually looking to do that. We'll be right back. Storm Track 9 weather brought to you by CHI Memorial. Learn the signs of stroke at www.memorial.org slash stroke. Three, two, one. The bag is back and ready to put on a... <gasps> My life is a bacon-wrapped hell on earth. Can't say hell. The Muppets, series premiere Tuesday on ABC. Closed captioning brought to you by Wetter Mark Keith, because your case matters. All new Dr. Phil, a military cop. I'm transitioning to become a woman. Faces his dad. Start raising him as a man. As a woman. Steph, please join us. For the first time. Dr. Phil, today at 4 on News Channel 9.
The Storm Cam 9 Network, a better way to look at weather. These HD cameras aren't just beautiful views. They show you dangerous weather as it happens. Plus, it's available 24-7 at News1009.com. The Storm Cam 9 Network, exclusively from News 1009 and CHI Memorial. With a title loan from Speedy Cash, you can get up to $2,500 cash on the spot. Get the most cash out of your car and into your pocket. With Speedy Cash, you'll always get the most competitive rates. Keep your keys, keep your car, get your cash. I love that Speedy Cash. Which truck brand do you think offers best-in-class HD towing, best V8 horsepower, and has Motor Trend's 2015 Truck of the Year? Ram. Chevy. What do you think? A Ford. Oh. Here's the answer. That's the Chevy Silverado HD, the Chevy Silverado, and the Chevy Colorado. Chevy, Chevy, Chevy. It's truck month. Now qualified buyers get 0% financing for 60 months. Plus find your bonus tag and get 4,000 cash allowance on select Silverado 1500 crew cabs in stock. See your Tennessee Valley and North Georgia Chevy dealers. Arm & Hammer combines strength and beauty for true radiance. So for my radiant smile, I use new Truly Radiant Rejuvenating Toothpaste. In just five days, it cleans, whitens, repairs, and strengthens enamel with a twist of mint. Be radiant with new Truly Radiant. Northside Hospital Cancer Institute, where groundbreaking research leads to life-changing experiences with more advanced treatments that result in more days at the lake. Northside survival rates are among the highest in the country for bone marrow transplants. It's one reason so many people from across the country trust Northside with their cancer care. Northside Hospital, where the extraordinary happens every day. Trucks rock. Ford cars rock just as hard. So we're giving you the best of both worlds in car and truck month. That number one Marshall Mize Ford. Right now, 2015 Ford Focus with 40 miles per gallon and 2016 Ford Fusion with style and luxury far beyond its price. Get 1,500 bonus cash plus 0% for up to 72 months. 1,500 bonus cash plus 0% for up to 72 months. It's better than truck month. It's car and truck month. That Chattanooga's number one Ford dealer. Marshall Mize Ford will beat your best deal regardless. When you need cash fast with flexibility, go to Speedy Cash for a flex lock line of credit. Get up to $1,500 cash on the spot, pay only for the time you use it, and with a flexible line of credit, you get more cash if you need it. I love that Speedy Cash. This is Good Morning Chattanooga. And welcome back new this morning out of Alabama. Sporting sagging pants or mini skirts in one town may soon cost you big bucks. That's right. City council members in the town of Dateville are considering a city dress code that would ban saggy pants and extra short skirts. The city council member pushing for the ordinance says it's all about respect. If the dress code is passed, violators could be fined up to $100. Let's turn now. It's 626. Our friend Beth Newhoff, she's tracking all of our traffic conditions right now. And good morning to you, Beth. And good morning. Well, all of your traffic conditions are still in great shape. Pretty quiet morning so far. We have the W Road that will close at 9 a.m. and that will be closed until 4 for routine maintenance, trying to keep that uh, road up to par. Don't have any other issues around the area. Actually, things are moving pretty well as we go ahead and take a look and see how the folks in Hickson are getting along. This is 153 at DuPont Parkway. Just a few cars out there and again, don't see any problems. As Drew mentioned, along the riverfront, Watch out for those folks that are cleaning up after the concert last night as you drive. That's supposed to be opened. It was supposed to be opened by 6 so that if it's not yet, it will be in the next few minutes. After the break, stay tuned. We'll be back with your afternoon forecast and, of course, more headlines. Traffic Tracker brought to you by Mermaid. Dare to compare our line of Serta Perfect Sleepers. dropping prices. We're dropping payments. Crown Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram Chattanooga and Cleveland says drop everything. It's the Jeep celebration event and we need to clear out our 2015 Jeeps. Drive a new Jeep Renegade just $159 a month or a new Jeep Wrangler just $249 a month. Drop everything and visit Crown Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram Chattanooga and Cleveland. Two locations, thousands in savings. Hurry to Crown Chrysler Chattanooga and Cleveland, the better way to buy. At Miller Mont Technical College, we're here to help you work smarter. There's always help available to you. I could go to any one of them 
and they would help me. We know your life is already busy. Miller Mott has you covered with multiple start dates, flexible class schedules, and even online options. We'll help you discover different ways to pay for school. Financial aid and even military benefits are available for those who qualify. You'll work smart from the start. Miller Mott helps you choose your ideal career and then supports you with individual attention, hands-on training, and instructors with real-world experience. What's more, we'll assist you with job placement now and in the future. Classes are starting soon, so make the smart move today. Call or click now to receive your free information guide to review your options. And be sure to visit millermont.edu forward slash TV. It's time to work smarter. Work smarter. Go further. Take the first step today. So I was a head chef at 24. I won Best New Restaurant in the Country at 31. I've published cookbooks. I've been on TV. I've relied on people every step of the way. So staying connected to those people, that's what makes me feel accomplished. The people I connect with, these are the people that I ride with every day. Drive your QX80 for $7.99 monthly for 39 months. Take a test drive at Infinity of Chattanooga. Coming up on Good Morning Chattanooga, thousands of people gather along Chattanooga's riverfront to honor the five fallen servicemen. Two months later, we have a recap of Chattanooga Unite. And inspectors try to figure out what's next for Superior Creek Lodge. Hear from the man responsible for the condemned motel. Those stories plus your Storm Track 9 forecast and your exclusive traffic tracker. Good Morning Chattanooga continues right now. You're watching Good Morning Chattanooga with Sarah Jennings, Greg Funderburg, Drew Balea, traffic with Beth Newhoff, and Storm Track 9 weather with meteorologist Bill Rakes. This is Good Morning Chattanooga. Good morning, everyone, and thank you so much for waking up with us. I'm Greg Funderburg. And I'm Sarah Jennings. It is the 17th day of September, and senior meteorologist Bill Race waking up with us early <laughs> again this morning. Good morning to Bill. Good morning, and this is Storm Cam 9, where in Dalton, Georgia, it is a uh, mostly clear morning, kind of cool there, 55 degrees, and Storm Cam 9 is powered by CHI Memorial. And we're seeing a little more traffic down in Dalton now. Let me uh, show you uh, what we have in store for us today. 65 degrees at 9 a.m., 80 at noon, and 84 degrees at 4 p.m. Skies mostly sunny for today. Should be a pretty day out there. Just getting a little warmer as we get towards the end of the week here. Time for the news right now.